Hi everyone, my name is Victoria and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way to create clean indirect lining effect for your curved and round mirrors using Illumion. I decided to create this video for anyone that has been asking themselves how to create this effect for their visualizations. I came across this question in a Facebook group for Illumion users and although there were some really great answers to it, I know that sometimes you just want a quick and easy way to create this type of effects. For Lumion users, the way to go for indirect lighting is using the area lights inside the Lumion library. The problem with these area lights is that there's only two shapes and you would have think that Lumion by their 11th version would have added more shapes by now, but I guess we're not there yet. So I came up with a simple solution for it and I know that most of you guys use this method as well, but for those of you who struggle with indirect lighting for the round mirrors or any round object at all, all you have to do is work with emissive materials and transparency. For this quick tutorial, we're going to use this render to illustrate what we want to achieve. I'm using Lumion 10 and I got this effect in less than 5 minutes with no post-production process. But this effect is not something you work only inside Lumion. The first step is actually inside your 3D modeling program. In my case, I use SketchUp and what I like to do is I do the shape of the mirror and then I offset it outside of its border 2 to 3 centimeters and then you just flip it. Assign any color you want because this color is going to become your emissive material inside of Lumion. You just add a little more depth to it and then you just save this file and load it into your Lumion project. Once inside of Lumion, you're going to touch the material you assign it to be the indirect lining and you can actually change the color tone. I don't know if you're looking for a more bright and white tone or a warmer tone. That depends on what you're looking for in your render. And you can actually leave all the settings as they are. What really interests us are the extended settings of emissiveness and transparency. The emissive bar, you're going to get it all up to 30 or 35. That depends on what you're looking for. Uh, you can make tests to see what works for you and the transparency bar you're gonna get it up to 0.6 This will make the faded effect of indirect lining instead of having a full-on ring light across your mirror You save the changes and you just go up to render <laughs> 